We're at the point where most Raider fans are talking about which quarterbacks the Raiders should get this offseason, uh, who to target in the draft, which guards are ranked high in tackles and defensive linemen. We're at the point where everybody's kind of shifted their focus away from the 2023 NFL season. But the season's not over. The Raiders literally have one game left against the Denver Broncos. And I think this game's going to be very, very, very interesting. Uh, specifically because not only are we going to play Jarrett Stidham, a quarterback that a lot of us actually wanted the Raiders to bring back, but because of the fact that the Raiders aren't going to rest their players, right? Max Crosby's come out and said he, he plans to play. And I think a couple other guys have, have stated the same. Uh, some guys may be out, right? Josh Jacobs probably won't play this game. Uh, Colton Miller will probably play uh, because I believe Thayer Munford is going to be out as well. Uh, although it's not official yet as of this recording, uh, it's an interesting game that's kind of coming up. Uh, there's also the entire seeding aspect of it, which, you know, you can't you can't really ignore if you guys think about it. Uh, the Raiders can win this game and we can get as low as the 16th pick by winning this game or if we lose we can get as high as the eighth pick uh, so you can basically go from the eighth pick or the 16th pick depending on what happens in this game i think the raiders will you know they'll probably get somewhere between the 10th and 13th pick it's not going to really make that big of a difference if the raiders win or lose this game um, but it's going to be interesting nonetheless right because the raiders are about to play this game where i think a lot of people are checked out of this game um, and when I say that, I'm talking specifically about like fans and the people that are interested in watching Raiders football, because uh, from speaking to some of the guys, they are not checked out, right? There's still this entire who's the Raiders coach as we go into next season conversation and a win against the Broncos is going to go a long way, right? A win against the Denver Broncos for the Raiders is going to allow them to at least say, hey, in Antonio Pierce's first season as an NFL coach, uh, the guy ended up taking a, a team that wasn't that good, and they ultimately finished the season at 8-9. and nine. Uh, They were one game outside of the playoffs, and they were competing up until week 16. I'm sorry, week 17 of the season, the 16th game of the season. So, you know, the Raiders were close to making the playoffs in Antonio Pierce's first season. They didn't make it, but a win does benefit Antonio Pierce. And, you know, the Raiders locker room has been very, very heavily talking about Antonio Pierce being the coach. Max Crosby has talked about it. Uh, Devontae Adams came out two days ago and he talked about how he wants Antonio Pierce to be the coach. His vote is on Pierce. And a lot of other people have said kind of the same thing, according to Devontae Adams. I've obviously talked to a couple guys. They love Antonio Pierce. I think the Raiders are at the point where you got to win this game for Antonio Pierce. Um, now, it's going to be interesting because the Denver Broncos, uh, they're also in this point where you know, some of those guys do like Sean Payton, right? There's been a lot of negative talks on social media about Sean Payton, uh, but Sean Payton's going to be the Denver Broncos coach as they go forward. Uh, we even heard actually before the start of the season that Sean Payton has considered moving on from Russell Wilson, or if it was his choice, he would move on from Wilson. Obviously, Sean Payton in his first season stuck with Wilson, but by the time the season ends, they've moved off of Wilson. So for Sean Payton, uh, he's going to be the coach at least next season. He is a good coach in my opinion, but we'll see if he's able to replicate the success he's had with the Saints going into year two. But for the Broncos, they're also looking at Jarrett Stidham to see if this guy could be their quarterback of the future. I've seen a couple of uh, Broncos podcasters uh, via Twitter clips talking about Jarrett Stidham and if, you know, kind of what they saw last week from him, he looked pretty good as well as if, you know, he could have more success against the Raiders and if they can kind of go forward would possibly Stidham as their quarterback. I don't think it's going to happen. I think there's a good chance the Broncos are going to look to trade up in the draft uh, or stick it out at, you know, wherever they end up, you know, the 10th pick after they lose to the Raiders or whatever it ends up being. And they take a quarterback as well, right? Let's talk about how the Raiders can actually win this game. You know, uh, there's a couple of things that I want to see from the Raiders as we finish this season. I think from the defensive side, I need to see more from Tyree Wilson. And I want to see if Malcolm Kuntz can con continuously have success. Uh, his tape against the Colts wasn't as good as it was, you know, the previous six, seven weeks. Uh, the Colts, and I've talked about this before going into the Colts game, have a pretty good left tackle. Uh, he's the next Colton Miller of the NFL. Uh, Bernard Ryman is his official name. I, I always say Raymond. Uh, but Bernard Ryman is a pretty good left tackle, and he had a you know, he, he basically shut down Malcolm Coons. Coons really didn't do much against Colts. 
uh, against the Broncos. I need to see what uh, what Malcolm Coons has because I think for the Raiders to draft another defensive end with your with the first over with the, your first pick, your first round pick, assuming you don't take a quarterback, that would be a wasted pick in my opinion, right? So I think the Raiders need to really figure out what they have with Coons. They need to figure out if Tyree Wilson's the future at defensive end. You know, I, I wouldn't even mind. You know, having Malcolm Coons take 100% of the snaps at defensive end and Tyree Wilson take 100% of the snaps at defensive tackle, right? I would not mind that. Or just don't have Max Crosby play and start the two defensive ends and let them play 100% of the snaps because we need to see what these guys will have going into next season. I also want to see from the offensive line, you know, I want to see Jermaine Illuminor. I want to see Dylan Parham step up and see if these guys can have a clean game. Uh, we did the Colts film breakdown on the channel yesterday. It doesn't have that many views. If you guys want to go check it out, go check it out. I talked about in that video why I'm not sold on the Raiders offensive line and why I think the Raiders need to fix their offensive line. A lot of losing reps. You know, Andre James had a couple losing reps. And most of those plays for, were from like the first quarter. I looked at some from the second and third quarters towards the end of the video. We also looked at other offensive lines like the Eagles. Uh, the Seahawks, the Chiefs, and I kind of broke down what I see from those lines compared to the Raiders. So that was in my video yesterday. Go check that out. But I want to see Jermaine Illuminor have a clean game. I want to see Dylan Parham specifically, right? Because I don't know if Jermaine Illuminor is going to be the future, right? We'll, we'll find that out during the draft process uh, and free agency. But I want to see what these guys have on the offensive line. Uh, Andre James and Jermaine Illuminor are both, I believe both are free agents. So in this final game, they got to show up and, and show us that they can stick around. Uh, you can take it a step further and talk about Zamir White. Zamir White, it's interesting because in camp, Zamir White looked very, very impressive according to the reports. The guy was dominating some of these teams. He's having 50, 60 yard touchdown runs. Of course, that was camp. And when he came in during the preseason, the guy was terrible and i don't remember if it was the second string offensive line that was playing for zamir white that may have been the case uh colt miller may not have started he did not look good in the preseason i think most of us agreed at that point you know we need to bring josh shakers back as soon as possible but that shifted a little bit zamir white in these uh, last two or three games has looked very very impressive he had a game where he went over 140 yards uh, against the colts i don't know statistically what he finished with but he had one play specifically that sticks out to me that I watched on tape where he, you know, in a one-on-one, -on -one, it was him versus the linebacker. He was towards the left sideline. He should have juked this guy. Should have just missed his, made that guy miss, right? I want to see what Zamir White has. You know, maybe this guy could be the number two running back next season uh, as, as the, you know, one-two punch, right? And he could be like the number two guy. And you can give him like eight, nine carries, including goal line carries, which I think uh, for the Raiders, you know, we need to make sure we have that power back. I think Zamir White could be that guy possibly, right? Um, and well, then we can figure out if Josh Jacobs is the future or if we go out and draft the running back, right? I think that's something we're going to have to consider as we go into this offseason. And I think what we can see from Zamir White against the Broncos will be important, right? Specifically on short distance downs. And he's been pretty good, right, in short distance downs. The guy scored a couple of goal line touchdowns the past couple of weeks. Um, I also want to see what these linebackers have. I want to see what these secondary guys have. It's going to be an interesting game against the Broncos. Uh, Jarrett Stidham talked about Max Crosby a little bit. He gave us his thoughts and opinions on Max. Uh, he obviously said a lot of positive things, talked about his work ethic and those type of things. Um, so as we go into this game, you know, it's going to be interesting if the Raiders start every player, if they let some of these guys rest and, and they kind of just end the season that way. And it's not necessarily to, to tank, right? That's not the that's not the, the the right way to look at it. It's more to evaluate other guys, right? It's more so to see if, you know, Tyree Wilson's the guy, uh, Adam Butler to see if he's the guy, right? I believe Adam Butler's on a one-year contract. He's a guy the Raiders have to bring back. The guy was phenomenal to kind of finish the season. And there's other guys as well, right? That you can just kind of look across the board to see if these guys are the future, right? Maybe Hunter Renfro plays a lot. And, you know, that allows his trade value to go a little bit higher although i don't think anyone's going to trade for him i, I think he may end up just kind of getting released but uh, those broncos games gonna be interesting as hell all right it's gonna be very very interesting again a win puts you uh you know it's gonna probably put you between pick 13 through 16 a loss will probably put you between picks 8 and 11 uh, at the moment we have the 11 pick um, and it's not going to, it's not going to get higher than the eighth pick. So the Raiders will not pick as high as last season. Obviously we have more wins already this season than we do last season. We have seven wins this season. 
We had six last season. Uh, and we have the, you know, the potential to be eight and nine this season. And, you know, never say never, you know, finishing eight and nine draft pick may not be great. I, I don't think that matters a whole lot. I think as you go forward, you know, guys, you're going to say, hey, the Raiders are close, right? And they have this badass head coach. And, and maybe it's Jim Harbaugh that comes in. And then people say, hey, I want to go play for Jim Harbaugh. But, you know, th- thinking about in that aspect that the Raiders can possibly win eight games, a year after they almost restarted their franchise, right? When you get rid of your starting quarterback in Derek Carr, who's been your quarterback for nine years, that changes your franchise. It takes time for a team to really find that next quarterback. Uh, the Raiders actually won more games. This is kind of crazy. The Raiders won more games after getting rid of their, their quarterback they had for nine years. It's crazy to think because that doesn't happen. And honestly, I think the biggest factor this season was obviously our defense was a lot better. Uh, and I think guys played a lot more for Antonio Pierce. I think Pierce also managed games a little bit better than Josh McDaniels did last season. Um, but the Raiders may have eight wins. You know, that, to me, that's crazy. It's 33% more wins than last season. So we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, I want the Raiders to win. I want Antonio Pierce to be our coach. Uh, if it's not Antonio Pierce, I'm all good with Jim Harbaugh. I would be disappointed if we picked a guy like Frank Smith, right, the Dolphins offense coordinator. Um, or if we pick you know, Ben Johnson of the Lions, for example, I would be disappointed if we took one of those guys over Antonio Pierce. There's only two guys I would take over Antonio Pierce. Not, not even over. They're, they're two guys I'd be okay with. Uh, one is the Texans offense coordinator in Bobby Slowick, uh, but he's only been a coordinator for one year, and there's a good chance if he's going to take a job, he may not take it this season. He may wait one more season. Um so there's Bobby Slowick, who I would take, and then the other guy is Jim Harbaugh. So I would be okay with those two guys. But my pick is Antonio Pierce. So we'll see what ends up happening. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the game of the Broncos, man. Keep in mind, we're not going to get football for, what is it, like seven months, right? And maybe a little bit before that if you consider draft and offseason and those type of things. But it's not real football for a long time. So enjoy the video. Or enjoy the Broncos game, enjoy the weekend, and I will see you guys next time with another video.